What's screaming, my friends? This isn't just noise, it's a battle cry hidden in the treetops at the 8200 Hz. The frequency range from 300 to 20,000 Hz, which is suitable for bats and dolphins at the time of arguments. And of course, the frequency of my smile when you subscribe to this channel. Almost like a sci-fi whisper. <laughs> Hidden in these trees lives a rare monkey, the cotton-top tamarind. Most people will never hear them, but not because they're silent, it's because the world is fading, shrinking forests, vanishing echoes. To hear them now is to hear the rainforest whisper its final warnings. This video is a sonic odyssey into the soul of the rainforest. Drawn by a whisper few ever notice, I come closer, searching for the voice behind the trees and even close to the beach. Please join me on this journey. I travel deep into Tasmania, not for scenery, but for sound. A voice far from the mystic horizon. And far through the angry waves. Small, swift, and almost forgotten. The cotton top tamarind. Born in silence, forged in noise, I have been walking this battlefield of sound, setting my recorder to capture every detail in its purest form, no compromises. Every sound matters, I set the recorder to hear the truth beneath the noise. Let's begin. A high mid-frequency often associated with clarity. Presence is where detail lives and distortion dies. 8177 Hz confirmed. In this war of silence and signal, the truth hides in the frequencies. Cotton-top tamarinds are highly vocal primates with a diverse range of vocalizations, many of which fall within the 2000 Hz to 15000 Hz frequency range. Here is a breakdown of their vocal frequency characteristics. General calls, for example, contact calls, alarm calls, between 3 to 8000 Hz. High-pitched calls, used in long-distance communication or distress, is between 10,000 to 15,000 Hz. And whistle-like calls, like the example we just heard, often centered around 6 to 9 thousand hertz. They use different call types depending on context, such as food, danger, or group cohesion. Interestingly, they can modify the pitch and tempo depending on urgency and emotional state, and some studies have shown a level of syntax-like structure in their communication. Each chirp is a message, warnings, calls, chatter, all packed into ultrasonic bursts. Two, one. Another example, the prominent human frequency for this female sample is 164 Hz. These are the harmonics and not the real frequency. From this loud cricket at the frequency of 2345 Hz, to the rumbling sound of 17 Hz, suitable for elephants. The ground vibrates with an almost tangible force resonating through the very air they breathe. The frequency range from 300 to 20,000 Hz, which is suitable for bats and dolphins at the time of arguments. And of course, the frequency of my smile when you subscribe to this channel almost like a sci-fi whisper. <laughs> Sometimes what we leave behind speaks louder than what we say. In this light, 
The trees still whisper, the wind still carries secrets, but not all frequencies were meant for us. Some were designed for those who belonged long before we arrived. And yet the jungle cries out, not for attention, but as a final cry to be remembered by those who dared to listen. A frequency we weren't meant to hear, now echoing through time. Nature hides things in plain sound. You just have to tune in. The world around us is filled with frequencies that speak in whispers or thunder, each carrying secrets that only those who truly listen can uncover. The beauty of the unseen is all around us. It's in the rustling of the leaves, the home of the earth, and even the vibrations we often ignore. It's not just about hearing, but about understanding, about connecting to the pulse of life itself. Thanks for watching and see you around.